All right, now in this video, I wanna talk about how do you target your email list using Facebook ads. Now let's jump right into it. And first, let me show you all the steps involved that you need to follow to be able to target your email list. So let's go to our drawing board. And here are, it's two step process, but step number one is it has like different components. All right, so how do you target your email list with Facebook ads? The first step is upload your email list to Facebook. So basically to upload, it used to be very easy, any Facebook ads uh, account, you could upload your CSV file of your existing customer, the email list, but now Facebook has recently made a change. You do need a business manager. So to upload your email list, a list of maybe your customers' emails or phone numbers or addresses, you do need Facebook business manager. It's very easy and free to sign up. It's business.facebook.com and just sign up and it will, uh, it will create a free account for you. Number two is once you upload the email list, you're gonna create a custom audience. So basically inside Facebook's audience section, we're gonna create an audience of all these email, these people who are on our email list. And don't worry, I'll show you everything in a second. And then once you have completed number one, step number two is then we're gonna use this custom audience of our email list inside Facebook ad campaigns and specifically inside the ad sets uh, of the campaign. Now, let me go to the ads manager now. And here I am, I'm already signed into my business start Facebook business account and one of the ad uh, account that I have access to. Now, how do you upload your email list? Let's check that out first. So what you wanna do is click on the ads manager and then we're gonna to go to section called audiences. This is where you build all of your custom audiences. All right, it's gonna load pretty quickly. It's just taking a few seconds. I believe my internet is just super slow right now. There we go. <laughs> all right, finally. So once you are at the audience section, we're gonna click on create audience and then we're gonna click on custom audience. So the definition of custom audience is connect with people who already have shown interest in your business and you know our existing customers, yes, right? So click on custom audience and then there are different options. So our source for custom audience is a customer list. These are the people uh, whose email we have. So we're gonna click on that and now here is to prepare your list you need at least one main identifier. And what's a main identifier? It's email, phone number, some people have a first name, last name, so things like that. Those are the main identifiers. And then uh, you can include more identifiers such as city, state, country, zip code, date of birth. It just depends. Some businesses just capture name uh, and email. Some businesses capture all kinds of information, address, phone number, uh, zip code, everything. So it just depends on you know what you have. Uh, captured for your existing customers. You can upload all of that and actually more you upload the better because then Facebook is able to match those people with people who are active on Facebook and then create your custom audience. All right, now there are a couple of ways to do it. So if you have a MailChimp, you can import from MailChimp. I've never used that option. That's fairly recent, but you know, check that out. Uh, the other one is download list template. So if you download that template, basically it's gonna be Excel file with all these columns and you can fill it out and then just you know upload back into uh, this area of audiences. What I like to do, the easiest for me, you know I like to do things that are easy. So I'm gonna hit next uh, and I'm just gonna copy paste. So this is, do you, does your list include customer value? So if you have a, um, if you know the value of your customer, the lifetime value, you can include that. For now I'm, not, I'm gonna hit no and hit next. And this is what I wanted to show you. So basically, in this section right here, you can upload the file or you can copy paste. And what I like to do sometimes is just go uh, copy data from my raw file, come back here and paste it and then Facebook will match. So for example, we, I uploaded like almost five, uh, 4,900, almost 5,000 rows just like that. So copy pasting is super easy for me. So that's what I like to do. And then make sure you email list you name, you give it a name and uh, you know, name it to uh, something that you can easily remember in the future. 
Uh, and then when you are done, just hit next and then Facebook will start creating that audience for you. I'm gonna hit cancel because we already have that. So let me show you in this list right here, we should have email list, there you go. So here's the email list that we have. So 31, so out of 4,900 people, 3,100 people matched with Facebook. So Facebook was able to match, you know, that's a huge percentage. Uh, and now that's our kind of like, you know, step number one, it was, you know, making sure you have a, a business Facebook account, business star, or business manager, uh, business.facebook.com. And then you're going to go into the audience section and upload your uh, email list or your customer list and it will create a custom audience like this so that was our step number one right here number two is now it's super easy now we're going to go inside ads manager create a campaign and then inside the ad set i'll show you how to target this email list that we just built all right so let's jump back into here and i'm going to go back to the ads manager now and then we're going to create a brand new campaign and to be able to do that, we're gonna look for that create button right here and hit hit that. And now our step number one, Facebook ad creation is three step process, campaign, ad set, and then the ads. Uh, we're not gonna go and build out the whole campaign. I have other videos that go in detail, a step-by-step -step process of building out your whole campaign. Here, I wanna show you how to target that email list that you have. So in the objective, I'm just gonna go with conversion for now, just to a test campaign. But basically, you can uh, target your email list for anything to to get more conversions. And, you know, so you already have their email list. They're already customer. But sometimes companies, they like you, maybe you have a new product, uh, maybe another accessory for existing product and maybe like an upsell. And it makes sense for you to target your existing customers or email list. So it's it just depends on uh, the strategy or the campaign that you're creating. All right. So let's go to step number two, which is the ad set. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to scroll down and we're gonna look for a section called custom audiences. So this is where we are gonna uh, input that, the audience that we just built, the email list. And if I hit uh, enter or a click here, it's gonna give me a drop down, and I, I can see all of my lookalike audiences, all of my custom audiences and all everything together. If I scroll down, I should be able to see an email list which is right here 3100 people and right here in the audience size even though Facebook says unavailable they used to give the number here now they don't but we know from the audience section the the people in that group is 3100 so I have that selected and this is how you in your ad set you're gonna select the custom audience that you want to target and this is how you can target your email list with your ad campaign and then you can kind of go through everything else in the campaign uh, make sure you, uh, you know set up your location sometimes people want to uh, target their customers within a certain city or within a certain country let's say you're a global brand and your customers are all over the world but this campaign you only want to target your existing customers who live in the United States so you would do something like that so uh, select your existing customers and then select the country uh, and then move forward with your other uh, parts of your campaign building uh, daily budget and so forth so I'm not gonna go through the whole process so this is how uh, but there are several other videos that I have on the topic of uh, you know all these three steps campaigns ad sets and uh, building out the ad whether you want to build the image ad or the video ad but this is how you build a custom audience so it's a two-step process let me just quick recap first we build a custom audience of our email list or our existing customers inside Facebook Ads Manager and specifically in the audiences section and once you have a custom audience created created then step number two was in the process of building out a brand new campaign in the ad set section inside the custom audience we can select that and we can target people who are on our email list. We can target people who are our existing customers with new offers, whatever you want to put in front of them. Actually, one other thing I want to quickly point out, you can also exclude this list or this custom audience that you built. So let's take an example. Maybe you're creating a, a campaign and you want to target people who are not your existing customer. So maybe it's for uh, you know new customers, right? It's a new customer offer. So what you would do is inside your custom uh, audience, instead of including so if I select something here 
I am targeting these people, they, the people who are on my email list. But instead of that, I can also hit exclude and then do the same thing. And here's the email list, right? So when you have a custom audience built inside Facebook, you can either include it and you can also exclude it from your campaign or specifically at the ad set level. And it really depends on the objective of your campaign. You may want to target your existing customers or maybe it's a campaign which is just for new customers. So you want to exclude your existing customers. So just wanted to uh, let you know that there is an option to exclude your custom audience as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave me a comment, reach out to me. I will be more than happy to answer your questions and give you my insights. Thanks again for tuning in today. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.